Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of my white water guide for Austria. Today, we'll look at the upper Bregenzer Arch from below Hopfreben to above Schnepfau. You can put in at the road bridge below Hopfreben. Here it is still relatively easy to get down to the creek. The upper section of the Bregenzer Arch rarely has enough water, but when this is the case, you have a sporty section ahead of you. When I get in, I estimated the flow at 5 cubic meters per second. But this soon increased due to the rainy weather and the numerous streams. Alternative put in can be found in the flatter section along the road. Since there is usually only enough water up here in spring, avalanches and wooden obstacles must be expected. As the road passes under a rock outcrop in a tunnel, the Bregenzer Arch winds around it and the forest gorge begins. The gradient increases and numerous boulders require constant attention.
As the rocks on the left recede, the gradient gradually decreases, but there's still a rush with few small eddies. We have reached the Chopinot Basin, through which the Brady flows in a straight line. Thanks to the gradient, this is hardly noticeable negatively. Numerous bridges across the stream. There is a drop approximately in the middle of this straight line at such a bridge. At the last bridge of the strait, there is a low artificial step which forms a return flow. After a kink in the river, you reach the plain of Bau. The stream bed is now wider and you could use even more water here. There used to be numerous impassable weirs from here to the exit, but all of them have now been dismantled and the gradient is spread over the entire route. In the village center of Au, the Argon flows in. Below the next bridge, there is a spot with an increased gradient. There are always such short cataracts or low steps across the entire width of the creek. Put out above the road tunnel. Since there are still a few entertaining places at the level of the tunnel, it is worth continuing until after the tunnel exit, even if getting out is not that convenient here. It is possible to continue on to Mellow, but not really worthwhile because of two unsightly block dams and the straightening. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guy helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!